Hello everybody and welcome back to Minecraft 121, The Tricky Trials. Now in the last episode, we built ourselves a creepy cemetery. We then took on the trial chambers to find a heavy call and make ourselves a mace. And hopefully we'll be getting a lot of use out of that today. Because we have a mission today, we're going to be earning our wings. Yes, we are heading to the end and we're going to be taking on the ender dragon. But first we need to make just a few preparations and the first item on our list is some food which means we're going to be breeding up some cows and once the bovine population reaches critical mass we will be turning them into steak and leather. Now that we have some food it's time to do a little bit of work on our gear and the first thing we're going to need is some mending books. We're also going to be needing a few levels to apply said mending books and I have a few more items that I want to enchant because heading to the end means that I need to first go to my all-time favorite place, the nether. Now if there's one thing I learned from all my time playing hardcore Minecraft, it's that when you go into the nether, always take some fire protection and these boots are going to do just the job. Now that we have food and fire protection, it's time to head into the bowels of hell itself. And the first thing we're going to be looking for is of course a nether fortress because we need some blaze rods in order to make eyes of ender which will enable us to look for the stronghold. Now I must be honest I still don't know what the best way is to find a nether fortress. I usually just pick a direction and keep going until I run into one. Now during my brief foray into the world of speedrunning I did figure out how to use F3 to find a nether fortress. I'm not sure if it still works the same in 121 and to be honest I don't think it really was that much quicker than just relying on pure blind luck. So let's go with what we know. So far it's been pretty smooth going and except for the occasional lava pocket we haven't had too many problems. The one main issue I have is of course my pickaxes giving out on me. They've both got mending on them but finding enough gold and quartz ore to keep repairing them is proving a little bit challenging. However, we are making good time. I'm sure we'll be finding a nether fortress in no time at all. And along the way, we're picking up a ton of gold and quartz. So let's keep going in this direction. Oh, there we go. We have found one. We have found a terrible fortress. So all we need to do is actually find it. And there it is. We'll drop down there in just a second, but before we do, let's just finish mining up all of the gold and quartz ore over here, get our gear in the best possible condition, and then we'll set off in search of a blaze spawner. Now, this seems to be quite an interesting nether fortress we've got over here. The whole thing is encased in netherrack, which I think could quite possibly work to our advantage. Now search for a blaze spawner has been quite fruitless so far but I think we might be in luck because there is a blaze over here and with the entire fortress encasing near the rack it means it could only have come from a blaze spawner nearby. So let's grab our mace and then let's smack the rods off this guy. Now I've got my shield, I actually have three shields just to swap out in case one of them gets weak and we're going to take care of this blaze right here. But I don't think the mace is quite the fantastic melee weapon I thought it would be. We have our first blaze rod though. But I think the mace is more of a special use instrument where you need to actually have the right conditions to make use of the density enchantment. But back to the matter at hand, because this entire fortress is encased in netherrack, we have a very cheap and nasty blaze farm up here. The entire spawner is encased in netherrack, which means there's a chamber where they can spawn, they can't float away. And with this being the only way in or out, we can get in and go smack them whenever we please. But before we do that, let's take a quick look around, see what's up here. It's an empty chamber, which means we won't be getting any surprise mob visits from up there. It also means that if we just block up all of these entryways, two blocks high to prevent any of the wither skeletons from coming through, we should have a pretty safe place here. So with that taken care of, it's time to engage the blaze and Go kick some ash.
Things are starting to get a little bit intense, but it's all right. We have a great haul. We've got a stack and a half of blaze rods so far. And I'm sure as soon as we take care of these guys, we'll have a few more. It's amazing how far a little fire protection goes as I haven't actually come close to dying once so far. But I'm not going to push my luck too far. I'm going to clear out this chamber and then I will be heading back to the portal. And I'm going to be doing that by digging the straightest possible line from here to there. I've already started digging when all of these guys started showing up. So I'm just going to take care of them because you can't leave a bro hanging. Just one more to go and then hopefully they'll stop spawning and I can get back to digging my hole. One more blaze rod for the collection and uh, fall down the hole of course. But no matter, we'll put out the fire and we will get digging right in this direction. Now I'm hoping that I'll have a nice smooth run all the way to the portal. I'm hoping there aren't going to be too many valleys and ravines that I have to bridge over. And of course, I started digging my hole one block too low. But it's alright, I'll just bridge this little gap here. After all, I have plenty of netherrack. And then once we're out of the fortress, it should be plain sailing. Ah, uh, jeez, a fence, okay, I'll need to take that out, and then we'll take out the one on the other side as well, just so we'll have a smoother path coming back for whatever we need. Then, let's get going. And it only took about 10 minutes of digging and bridging to get back to the portal, which means we are just about ready to start the next phase of our nether excursion. We have an absolute ton of blaze rods, as you can see, over a stack and a half, and the next thing we're going to be needing is some ender pearls. The easiest way to get them, of course, is to find a warped forest and take out a mess of endermen. And what better way to do that than to pick a direction and keep going until we find it. So according to F3, I am actually in a warped forest biome. And there it is. I went in a little bit low this time. But no matter, we have found our warped forest and let's take a look at what we have. It is quite tiny. However, as the saying goes, it's not the size of the warped forest that counts. It's how many endermen you slay in it. And there's one right up there. I've got a hidey hole. I'll just annoy this guy. And then let's get... Oh, oh nuts. Where's my hidey hole? Where's my hidey... Oh, okay. There we go. We're in. And Mr. Enderman... I'm afraid it's time for you to hand over your pearls. One more whack should do it. Ah, no, two more whacks should do it. But alas, no pearl from Mr. Enderman, which means we're going to have to round up a bunch of his buddies and hopefully they will be in a more giving mood. Ah, oh, finally, we have our first ender pearl. That took way more endermen than I would have liked. But we don't have looting on our sword, which means we are probably in for quite a grind. I think it is just about time for us to once again get out of here. We have 17 ender pearls, which should be more than enough to get us to the stronghold and open the end portal. So once again, let's go digging back to the nether portal and make our way home. We are back home and with the wailing of the nether behind us, we can go take a nap. And then in the morning, we will take a look at the fruits of our labor. So first things first, let's hit the hay. And with the light of a brand new day shining upon us, it's time to see what we've brought back. We have a skeleton dying in the background apparently, but two and a half stacks of nether quartz ore. We also have some glowstone, some nether gold ore, and then we have some blackstone that we mined, which we're going to be using in some of our buildings. We also have our 16 ender pearls, which we're going to be turning into eyes of ender very shortly. I'm also just going to stash everything that I don't really need to take with me to the end, just to minimize the risk of losing anything important. I think that shield can probably stay here as well. And then, ladies and gentlemen, we are inching ever closer to finding the end portal and facing the dragon. Next up, it's time to craft some Eyes of Ender. And for that, I'm going to need a few of these blaze rods. Eight ought to do it, which will break down into 16 piles of blaze powder which will match up very nicely with my 16 ender pearls. So here we go. 
16 eyes of ender and that should be all we need. Even if we do break some on the way there, we should still have enough left, even if the end portal is completely empty. So here we go. The adventure continues and we have apparently some squatters in our cemetery. That will not do, that will not do at all. Let's take care of these scallywags. And isn't that just typical? Impale one of them with a flaming arrow and suddenly all of them get very angry. This should be the last of them. Let's just take care of Mr. Big Shot over here. And I must say, I really, really do love the fact that these guys give you the ominous bottle instead of the bad omen effect. But with these guys taken care of, let's go pop these into our chests and let's get on with our mission. And this is it. For the first time in 121, we shall unleash the Eye of Ender. And we're heading off in this direction. Don't break, don't break. Okay, we seem to be a bit more lucky. Usually I break a ton of these things. Hopefully I'll have better luck this time. Now I have absolutely no idea how far the end portal is from here. So let's put on some walking music. What I can tell, this is it. The eyes are going directly into the ground, which means if I dig down, I should find the stronghold right beneath my feet. Let's just check. Yep, right over here. It wants to go all the way down. So let's grab our shovel. Let's grab our pickaxe and let's make a hole. Now it seems that this seed is just getting better and better as we go because even the stronghold is not all that far from my house. We'll just make a nice little staircase and hope it isn't buried too deep. Oh, there we go. We have reached brick, which means we have found the stronghold. And there we go. I spy. Indeed, we spy a stronghold. So let's get in there and hopefully our luck will continue and we'll find that portal quick and easy. But first, let's just find out exactly where in is. It's not in that direction. And uh, there we go. That is it. So we'll just continue a little staircase all the way down to the floor. Make it nice and easy for us in case we need to come back. I'm sure we'll be coming back many times in the future. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. We have found the stronghold. Let's see if we can find the portal. Unfortunately, as it turns out, this stronghold is very, very annoying. Not only have I not found the portal yet, but I'm not getting much good from the chests either. So far, I've found a few pieces of iron and not much else. Now, the biggest problem here is, of course, that it is fragmented, which means there are caves running all through it, like over here. As you can see, there's no clear path to just walk from the one side to the other. And that means I have to dig out walls, walk around big holes in the ground. And that, of course, is taking a lot longer than I would like. It also means that navigating the stronghold is a lot more difficult than it normally would be. And as I mentioned in the previous episode, I'm not too good at keeping track of where I am and where I have been. Oh, okay, this chest is giving me a little bit of hope. This is the best chest I've found so far. Three diamonds. Let's just get rid of all of the nonsense in our inventory. And then we've also got an eye armor trim. I have no idea what it looks like, but it's fun to find something that could be useful. And I am rapidly running out of torches. I haven't found the portal room yet. And as you can see, having to climb through caverns from one piece of the stronghold to the other is taking significantly more time than it usually would. However, climbing through caverns have some advantages, such as diamonds, which I will be grabbing right now. And then let's carry on. I'm hoping to find that portal room soon because I have been mulling about in this cavern for probably 20 minutes now. I am out of torches. I'm collecting torches of where I have been, which isn't helping my navigating either. Now, as you'll see, I have blocked off all of the paths that I've been in that lead to nowhere. But of course, you get pieces like this, which just confuse you even more. So let's take a look over here. Nope. Let's take a look over here. And I think I'm just moving in circles. 
and we have made some progress. We have found a library. And hopefully that means the portal room is not too far away. Now, of course, I'm going to harvest all of these books so that I can sell them to the librarian back home. And I'll take a look in that chest just now. Hopefully there's some really good stuff in there. But I'm already a winner because I'm going to be walking away with stacks and stacks of books. Now, I'm not 100% sure if this library actually means that I am making progress. I don't know if there's any correlation between the location of the portal room and the libraries, but it really does feel like I am moving forward. It's the first new thing I have seen in quite a while, and let's see what we have. Multi-shot, that sucks. Respiration 3, I can use that. We've got a few more books, and then, of course, we have another eye armatrum. Not absolutely fantastic, but not too bad. And we have found it, ladies and gentlemen, the portal room is here. Of course, first we need to take care of the silverfish. They have spawned in their numbers. And then we'll quickly break the spawner, which will keep us safe. Now, I think the next thing I need to do is just get rid of all of this lava. And oh, just look at that, 11 eyes missing, fantastic. However, there's another door. I just want to go check out what we have down here. And it's a really good thing that we have found the portal room because I am down to my last four torches and we have another library. Absolutely fantastic. We get some more books and hopefully we'll get some goodies from the chest as well. As soon as we locate that, uh, it's over there. We'll get rid of the spider web so we can move a bit easier. And then, ooh, ah, I didn't mean to break the chest, but it's all right. Let's see what we got. We have sharpness three, protection three. Ooh, feather falling four. That is brilliant. I'll definitely be putting that on my boots soon. But first, we need to get rid of some of the junk in my inventory because it is absolutely stacked again. I made an ender chest. I put all of my books in there, and I think I'll just put all of the enchanted books and armor trims in there as well, just to keep them safe. But finally, it's time to go to the end. I think the first thing I'm going to do is just cover all of this lava underneath the portal with some dirt just to keep me from falling in it because that's the kind of stupid thing I would do. And then on these sides, I'm just going to put some dirt over here as well just to prevent me from falling into these. Finally, it is time to open the portal. Now, as I said, there's 11 eyes missing. It's a good thing that I have plenty. And here we go, ladies and gents. The final pearl is going into the portal and the gate is open i suppose i could be more prepared but it's all right i think i can take this dragon so let's go and oh okay we've spawned away from the center island the dragon is awake and hunting me so let's get to safety quickly i just need to build a bridge over to the main island but i think before i do that i'm gonna put down my ender chest make sure that all my goodies are in there and i won't risk them when i'm dangling over the void i also want to fortify this little island just a little bit just to make it safer for me to actually come through and land here i just want to make sure that i don't have any dragons attacking me straight out of the gate whenever i come through so let's just build a little wall around the entire thing and then we'll put up a nice cozy roof it'll give us a safe little chamber where we can spawn whenever we come to the end but i don't think i brought anywhere near enough dirt to complete this thing the first layer however is done and yes, I wasn't going to have enough dirt by a mile, so I've decided to bridge over and grab some endstone. Then I can use this endstone to complete my little chamber on the other side, just to protect our spawning platform. The dragon seems to be extremely angry, and I have no idea why, because I haven't done a single thing to it yet. Now to protect me from falling off the little bridge from the platform to the main island, I have put up some rails. And now I'll add a second and third layer to the wall and then a roof. So the third layer is mostly an... Oh, crikey. No, no, no. Ooh. Dragon's breath. Not good. Let's have some steak. And let's see if we can get this roof completed before the dragon comes back. Oh, no. This is... No, no, no. This is spreading. This is not good. This is really not good. Um, I can't eat anymore. All right. Hearts are full. I'm hoping this isn't... No. Oh, that... Oh, crikey. That hurts a lot. Th no, I was doing so well. That's the first time I've died in this episode. I really thought I was going to make it without a single death. But the dragon proved to be a little bit more dangerous than I expected. So let's get back there. 
Hopefully, none of my stuff fell over the side. And we're back. Oh, Dragon's Breath. Dragon's Breath is still there. Hopefully, it'll go away soon. Let's see. Yeah, it's receding. Okay. So, I can go ahead and collect all of my stuff. I've got some stupid bread that I've been eating on the way here. But we can finally get our gear back. And where's my ender chest? What happened to my ender chest? Um... As far as I know, the dragon doesn't actually blow stuff up like chests. Um... Does this piece reset whenever you spawn back in, or what the heck is going on? It didn't glitch out to the side. I'll need to look that up, but all I know for now is that my ender chest and my other chest is gone. Fortunately, the stuff in my ender chest will be safe, but I can't remember what I had in the second chest. Let's just make a new ender chest, just to make sure that all of our stuff is safely inside. And yeah, it's all still there, that's good. And then I think I'll just put down another chest over here. And then we can put all of the random crap that's not as important in that chest. And with all of our stuff safely with us, we can finally get back to safeguarding our little spawning platform. So let's get through there with some... Uh, oh, no. Oh, no. No, 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 no. No. Ah. Uh... No, all my stuff, all my, my mace, I hit my mace on me. No. So after that little setback, we have pretty much nothing left. I've got a bunch of diamonds. I need to make all new armor. I need to get it enchanted. And that of course means a lot of grinding at the zombie spawner. But fortunately, I do have some diamonds, which means I don't need to go mining. And at least that cuts off a little bit of time from the process. So let's just go. Let's get our boots. And then we have replaced our diamond armor and we have one diamond left. That is absolutely terrible. Uh, let's see. What do we have? We don't really have anything else in here that can help us. And once again, it's time for the grind. So let's just stand here, whack a bunch of zombies and get ourselves some levels. I've enchanted most of my gear. All I have left to do is my chest plate protection three. Yeah, I'll take it. And I think I might have enough levels left to do the sword as well. Ah, sharpness four, that's not too bad. Where were you when I was doing my diamond sword? Anyway, let's pop it back in there. And then once again, let's head back to the end. Now this time I'm not going to fool about, I'm not going to bother about a safety chamber. I'm going straight in and I'm going to take care of that stupid dragon that's cost me literally everything. And here we go, no more fooling about. Dragon, you're about to meet your doom. You shall feel my wrath. And of course we're going to start by taking care of the crystals. That's one. Let's get another one over there. Bullseye. So we still have a bunch more to go and I think I'm going to take care of the ones in the cages first, which means I need to pull her up and just sneak in an arrow underneath the opening. This is the part that I hate. This is of course the most dangerous part of all, but here we go. All right, first crystal, we can take care of it and not to find. There we go. Let's get done. No, 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 no. Oh, more dragon's breath. No, 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 oh, no, no, no. No. Third time's the charm, I'm sure. Here we go. Back to the end. Let's take care of all of these crystals. Aha, what a shot. Oh, yes. Once again, pillaring up. And let's hope it goes better than it did last time. Ah, there's the crystal. And there it goes, the crystal. So, okay, dragon. No, no, no. Okay, no. I'm not falling for that again. I'm just going straight up. And then let's see, where is the dragon? Are there any more crystals about? Um, I think there's one or two more here and there. Take that dragon. Ah, there's one right over there. Let's see if we can hit it from here. And indeed we can. And the fight is well and truly on. So we've got all the crystals. We've done a significant amount of damage to the dragon. And um, ah, yeah, of course the arrows won't work while it's perched. So let's sneak in here. And let's just smack it without sword. You're going down this time. 
Say your prayers, tiny dragon, for the might of me. Ooh, no, 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 I don't have a bucket. And hopefully, fourth time is the charm. Here we go, hopefully for the last time. And we're going to get the dragon right now. I am done playing around. I am going to be a little bit more careful. I'm not just going to wildly race in and smack it. And I still haven't brought a bucket. But we'll grab our stuff. And then we're going to take care of this dragon once and for all. The final battle commences. It is done. The dragon has been slain and the end has been freed. So of course I get to pick up a delicious bunch of XP and yeah, I'm really gonna need this because I need to get a little bit better enchantments on all of my gear. But technically I have beaten the game and it, it feels a little bit hollow because I really didn't do all that much before coming here and taking care of the dragon. However, I can now get my wings and start really playing Minecraft. And yes, we're not done. We're not done by a long shot because my mission for this episode was to get my wings. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. First thing I need to do is build up a little staircase up to the teleporter over there. So let's just use some of this beautiful endstone and fashion us a horrible staircase. And the next thing I'm gonna need is a trapdoor. Well, let's just little platform over there. And then a trapdoor goes right over there. So we can climb in and crawl through. Which will take us to a distant end island where we can get about the business of finding an end city. The first end city is in sight and from here it doesn't look too big which doesn't give me much hope that it's going to have a ship but I think we'll need to move in for a closer look and see exactly what we're dealing with. So let's run over there and let's go find out if we're in luck. Now I'll be honest I'm not exactly holding my breath that we're going to find what we're looking for but at least we're going to get some shulkers over there and that should give us a few shulker shells. So when I said that it looks a little bit small, I didn't realize that this is probably the smallest end city that I have ever seen in my entire life. It's literally just the one tower and no ship. But we do have some shulkers and we're going to take care- oh no, ah, that has not gone well. After my fantastic start, I've managed to explore this little itty bitty end city and I was right, it is absolutely pathetic to say the least. There are a few shulkers about but there is no loot whatsoever to speak of. As you can see two towers and nothing else. So we're gonna need to go and find something better. After a fair bit of walking and wandering in the wrong direction, I have finally found a ship and okay, I was gonna say we need to pillar over there, but it seems that the shulker has done that for me. So let's just grab onto the ladder here, make sure that we don't fall. Oh goodness, no, 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 no. I don't have anything fantastic to protect me if I do fall down here. So um, yeah, if I do, I might be in a little bit of trouble. Now. Uh, Let's just get into the ship and let's go get our wings. Let's get rid of the bed because that can be dangerous. And then we'll take on this shulker over here. He shouldn't be any problems. And there we go, ladies and gentlemen. We finally have our elytra. We have our wings and ooh, that is quite handy. Now that we have our wings, we can take to the skies. And I think the first thing I'm going to do is grab myself a bunch of shulker shells. I've got one at the moment. I want to see if I can get at least five or six shulker boxes by the end of this little trip. 
But first, I think we need to take care of this sucker right here. And there we go. No shell. What a ripoff. Anyway, we still have one. And I think it's time for the first time to put on my wings and glide over very gracefully to the... No, gray. Okay, that's not the plan. Let's see if we can land on the stairway over here. And then we have some more shulkers, and that is exactly what we're after. If we find some more loot in the chest, that'll be a bonus, but the main priority is shulker shells. After battling a bunch of shulkers, it is time to call time on my end adventure. I have 20 shulker shells, which means I can make 10 shulker boxes. I also have a bunch of pretty good loot, so this trip wasn't a total loss. I'm still fuming about losing all of my gear early on, but that's the way it goes. I am out of food, I am out of time, and it's time to head home. I am also out of trapdoors, but I have an elytra, so let's just glide through there. And then we can finally get back to the overworld. And here we go. Oh, hang on, hang on. I didn't grab that dragon egg. Let's just do that before I climb through the portal once again. Dig a lovely little hole underneath it. Let's place down a torch. And then, voila, we have a dragon egg. And of course, I didn't click on a bed. Why on earth would I do that? I love walking from spawn. But that, ladies and gents, is unfortunately all we have time for today. We finally got our wings and just look at how magnificent they are. In the next episode, I'll probably look into building some sort of rocket production facility so we can take to the skies. I really do hope you enjoyed the episode. Leave a like if you did and if you want to see some more, be sure to hit that subscribe button. But this is Fungosaurus Rex saying, until next time beautiful people, stay awesome. Bye bye.